All right, gonna play some Quake the Champions. Oh yeah. Wait, what the fuck is this? But for real though, Quake Champions is a new first person shooter from Bethesda and Zenimix. Before we get into the game, however, I just want to go over a few things that don't directly relate to the game. Firstly, has anyone ever used the Bethesda.net launcher before? Because it's pretty awful. It's a blatant ripoff of Blizzard's launcher, and it wasn't even done well. It looks like it just woke up from the night in the town, still drunk, and wants to give you some sloppy head. Can you give me the option to remember my password? I mean, is it in the settings? Nope. And all the links take you to the browser, so what's the point of even having you? I can manage everything about Steam from the client, and Blizzard lets me buy games and redeem things in there as well. Talking about the browser, this is my second point, by the way. Signing in was like one of the 12 labors of Heracles. This happened in Firefox and Chrome. I had to boot up IE to get this working. What kind of sick, twisted individual makes a person do that? Okay, okay, I'm gone. So what's the game like? It's alright. It's nothing amazing, but it's a game you could enjoy. Let me take you through a bit, yeah? It's a first-person shooter with mainly the deathmatch game type. It has the retro aspects expected in Quake with the health and armor pickups. It's not a realistic shooter by any means, which gives it a positive light for me. It has a roster of characters, each with their own special abilities. There's Doom Guy who can teleport. There's Cannonball, who can charge forward and crush people between walls. Cyclops, am I going too far with the mutant names? He can see people through walls. Johnny Savage, Fuck the wankers. who can do a self-heal with some crack included. Maya, who can go to the upside down and kill people she's inside of when she comes back. Khaleesi, with acid spit. The Iron Giant, who can raise a shield for Sparta. Dark Souls 3, who basically has a turret that heals allies. Harley Quinn, who can skate around making a trail of damaging detonation cord that she can explode on a whip. And with a recent update, Wolfenstein himself, who can use two guns at the same time. There will be more characters later, apparently. So, if it wasn't obvious before, this is Bethesda's move into the market that is the online battle arena type. Now, we can say that Quake is one of the original first person shooters and being a part of the battle arena genre is its birthright, and would be right. However, this doesn't feel like Quake. Quake was all blam blam blam, pickups and murder. This game is all blam blam, ability, double damage is ready, you're not gonna get it, murder. There's something to be said about the aspects of games we're seeing now. Rosters of characters with abilities and backstories and audio clips talking about how they need a med pack. I think it's unnecessary. Sure, we all like some sweet, sweet customization, but why do we have this wacky cast? It should have all been cosmetic. You could have had a buttload of random unlockable pieces of characters that you could put together in your own particular order, including voice actor. This would have given a whole new perspective on Jimming as well. Then had all the abilities be individual pickups in their own right. That's a kind of natural progression from Quake that I would have liked to have seen, but unfortunately we don't all live in my perfect bony world. How do you keep getting in here? I say that I enjoy FPS games. Modern Warfare 1 and 2. Unreal, Doom, Halo, they're all my jam. I'm not including the ones I don't play on PC, of course. And I say that I'm relatively good at them. All I do is win, 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 no matter what. Okay, so maybe the loss of enjoyment was that my lag was real and matchmaking decided to put me with players with real actual skill and not just my perceived not actual skill. So maybe you should take my review with a grain of salt. Honestly, if you're an avid gamer and you like Overwatch or Battleborn, then you'll probably find a little fun in this. And if they make it free to play, then you won't lose anything by trying it. Considering it looks like they're gonna make the champions unlockable as well, that better be the case. So, that's the game. Um, yeah. It's not a full Harriet Scaly place, as you may have noticed. Not a lot of work went into it. I guess it kind of felt like it was a bit more effort than it was worth, really. So, yeah. Um, we'll probably get another one out sooner rather than later, um, but yeah, don't hold your breath or anything, considering how long it took, uh, last one's, t this one to come out, yeah, uh, I can't even hold my breath, you know, you, you can kind of see that, I guess, 
Anyway, um, bye. All I do